Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Auto Resource YouTube channel. I'm working on this 2014 Volkswagen Passat TDI 124,000 miles on the odometer. I'm doing valve, valve cover gasket job, excuse me. I guess I'm distracted. I better go home and stop working. I'm working on that and that includes removing the injectors and I'm not going to rebuild them or take them apart and clean them because the vehicle was running perfectly and the only reason I'm doing this job is that I had very slight burnt oil smell coming from behind the engine. Uh, thus, I'm doing valve cover gasket job. The parts are ready. And I just want to show you my little experiment with cleaning the diesel injector tips. Tips meaning are these ends where these very tiny, fine nozzles are located. So let's go look closer on two which I have cleaned and two which still were untouched. And I'm sure you will understand or you will be able to see the ones, the two which came out and I didn't clean yet. I just grabbed the rack and very slightly wiped the body of it, but I didn't touch the bottoms and the two which are on the left side. In my case, it's the number one and two. I have them in order. I don't want to mix and match them. So I want to show you the difference, what you can do without uh, detailed work or disassembly of the nozzles, removing the nozzles and cleaning them from outside and inside. It's completely different level of service. I'm not trying to do that. I just tried as I'm working, I tried two different solutions and I will just show it to you very soon. I tried to clean outside that carbon deposits. As I said, these injectors had no problems. I just wanted to clean it and see how easy it is to clean it uh, while I'm working. Now, what is really important to say, and many people don't know it, you don't want to use any mechanical cleaning here. You don't want to use on these tips any brushes. And I don't care how soft the brush is, you think you will be using. Please don't do that. We can see sometimes people will take sandpaper and start rubbing it and scraping it at the very bottom of each of that injector. There is, if I'm correct on this Bosch, it's five super tiny openings, super tiny nozzles. And you, there's no way you will be trying to scrape anything off. They are so tiny that with naked eye, I can barely see them. I was able to see them. Very, very tiny openings. You don't want to stick any wires inside. You might think, oh, I will take a very thin wire and I will poke them and make them cleaner. You can see the pattern maybe slightly on these as it was spraying. Does it show? No, it's not really visible. But it was before when I was touching it. So I want to show you what little difference you can do. Please, no mechanical abrasive cleaning. All I used was on the number one and I compared it. The number one, I use CRC intake valve and turbo cleaner. It was for removing this scrut, which you see here. 
on the direct injection engines you have it on the valves this was my solution uh, there was the crc and this was the carb and choke cleaner you can see there is more deposit inside than here but that's because i first used the spray then i wiped it once and then i finally soak it so i'm not thinking then this one is better than the other despite the fact you may think oh yeah look the crud what is inside what sits there both of these tips and i really speak about only cleaning outside of the tips i don't speak about taking apart and cleaning the inside of the nozzles just to make very simple cleaning before you put it back unless you plant more time on your repair and then you can start taking it apart and do the full service or i can take it to the machine shop and they will do the cleaning and testing and they will confirm the spray patterns are perfect and gorgeous as they supposed to be not for me in this video it was just quick clean of the outside surfaces i will be replacing these copper washers for these bosch injectors i have them here from fcp euro fuel injector o-ring these are the number you can see fcp euro so i ordered those plus i'm replacing these o-rings also fcp euro I have a replacing the bolts. They are apparently stretch bolts. I didn't know that. These are holding these clamps. I damaged and I found it for you. I damaged on the return line. It is part snapped. So I actually should have at the house. This afternoon was supposed to come from ID Parts. That's another company who does diesel stuff on german vehicles fcp euro didn't have that return line id parts had two choices one aftermarket for 40 oem 120 dollars so that apparently was supposed to be delivered today as i am at the shop so here it is you can do it if you want I will say that was definitely worth cleaning. I, as I said on here, you cannot even see these openings on these two clean ones. When I look really, I took off my glasses and look with a lot of light. I finally saw far absolutely tiny openings of these five very tiny nozzles. I hope you can find this inspiring please never ever try to clean this mechanically with a wire brush that's the worst you can do thank you for watching and have a great day my friend